Okay, so hear me out. I've just been in a couple of finance meetings. Um, the consultation meetings where there are less developed countries talking with more developed countries. And loss and damage comes up as well as um, issues of collective responsibility. Um, and Article 9 is also coming up quite a lot, which has a lot to do with the responsibilities that more developed countries have towards less developed countries. And people keep arguing about responsibility for things and, you know, <laughs> um, trying to make sure I don't name or shame anyone. So certain countries ask who's going to pay for it and other countries ask who's going to take responsibility for it. And this sort of toing and froing on rights and responsibilities is interesting because, for example, we have IMF reports that say that fossil fuel companies gain something like 7.3 trillion in um, subsidies every year now. That's approximately $20 billion a day. Subsidies, mostly paid by developed countries who have far bigger capacity fossil fuel industry contributions to their energy value chains. Less developed countries have been asking for $100 billion per annum um, loss and damage adaptation funds. Now, <laughs> the $100 billion that are being asked for to repair the damage is approximately 1.4% of the $7.3 trillion that we pay in subsidies. I'll say it again. We pay $7.3 trillion to fossil fuel interests in subsidies as agreed, accepted, published by the IMF. We need 100 billion for current loss and damage adaptation spend as a result, the science tells us, of fossil fuel overuse. This is 1.4-ish percent of how much we give away to the polluters. So if we offered something like, why don't we cut subsidies across the board globally, everyone cuts subsidies to all fossil fuel interests in their jurisdiction, including national champions, by 5%, just 5%, we'd be in the order of about 300, more than 300 billion a year in savings. We could give that money for loss, damage, adaptation, mitigation, starting now. We could actually solve, not pretend to solve, the $100 billion a year um, challenge of loss and damage by making what is a rounding error in the amount of subsidies we give to fossil fuel companies. So, I'll again, say it one more time. I said this in the last finance consultation meeting we were in with howls and accusations and tension that we will try to, you know, lower the temperature on. So, I'm not naming any names. I certainly didn't do any shouting. It was just a statement. We need to spend 1.4% of fossil fuel subsidies in order to meet our very low loss and damage targets. COP should, as soon as possible, with urgency, ask its members to redirect 5%, 5%, only 5% of the subsidies we give to fossil fuel companies, redirect that to loss, damage, adaptation, and mitigation because it exceeds the 100 billion that we want. It's a very elegant solution. It's fiscally neutral. It's a great beginning. It moves us in the right direction. But this is a unique cop. And the sense of challenge is felt on all sides. And the spirit of compromise is not cutting through but that won't stop us.
we have to keep finding ways to get things done. We have to. More from Cop later. <laughs>